scientists in Pittsburgh discover the pit pathway. Well, what is it? It's a pathway to repair damaged lysosomes. What are lysosomes? Well, they are the recycling center of a cell where molecular waste is degraded into the building blocks needed to create new organelles. Lysosomes recycle cellular trash which contribute to longevity. They contain digestive enzymes to break down molecules and are surrounded by a membrane to prevent the acidic contents from harming other parts of the cell. Now you can very well imagine if the membrane is damaged then that might create some serious damage or problems inside the cell. Lysosomal damage is a hallmark of aging and many diseases. Particularly neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's. In healthy cells, any damage to the protective membrane is quickly repaired. So researchers at the University of Pittsburgh, USA started this repair process hoping to understand more about diseases associated with leaky lysosomes and improve the treatment options available for them. So what is this PIT pathway? Phosphoinositide initiated membrane tethering and lipid transport pathway. What the scientists did was they took a lysosome and intentionally made the membrane damaged. Now, what happened within minutes was very fascinating. An enzyme called as PI4K2A started accumulating on the damaged lysosomes within minutes. It then generated high levels of a signaling molecule called PTDINS4P. The PTDINS4P acts as an alert system which then recruits another group of proteins called ORPs, which are oxysterol binding protein-related proteins. Now, these ORPs, they will act as red flags. And what do they do? They will tether the other proteins. They will bind one end of the protein to the PTDINS4P on the lysosome. And on the other hand, it will bind with the endoplasmic reticulum which is a structure involved in protein and lipid synthesis. Now, normally the endoplasmic reticulum and lysosomes barely touch each other. But once the lysosome is damaged, it was found that they were embracing the lysosomes like a blanket. It wraps the damaged ly lysosome from all its ends. Now, this arrangement facilitates the transport of some molecules, that is cholesterol, and a lipid called phosphatidylserine to the lysosome. Now, these are needed to fix and reseal the lysosomal membrane to prevent the digestive enzymes from doing any more damage to the cell. So, these molecules, they are shuttled to the lysosome and in turn, they activate a protein called as ATG2. This ATG2 acts as a bridge to transport other lipids to the lysosome. Now, this is what helps patch up the holes and seal any remaining tears in the lysosomal membrane. Thus, the lysosomal membrane gets repaired by this mechanism. Scientists suggest that defects in the PIT pathway could contribute to Alzheimer's disease progression. It is likely that small breaks in the lysosomal membrane of healthy people are repaired rapidly by the PIT pathway. But if there is a significant membrane damage or the pathway is no longer fu functioning, the membrane is not sufficiently fixed, leading to the accumulation of leaky lysosomes. These findings are an important step towards understanding and treating age-related diseases. A key step in Alzheimer's progression is the leakage of tau fibrils from damaged lysosomes which then get accumulated and aggregated in neurons and that leads to the dementia. Researchers experimented by deleting the gene for PI4K2A, the enzyme which was responsible for starting the PIT pathway. They did that using CRISPR and found that the spread of tau fibrils dramatically increased if this enzyme was absent. So the researchers hoped to develop mouse models to find out 
if this lysosome repairing pathway can be used to prevent the development of Alzheimer's disease.